Antonio Rosado was born on December 26, 1954, in Naples, Italy. At the age of four, his family moved to Canada, where he lived in Halifax, Ottawa, and Toronto. Not much is known of his childhood and early life, though he ended up graduating from Oakwood Collegiate Institute in Toronto. He was originally going to school to become a chiropractor, but eventually dropped out to pursue the entertainment industry. Rosado was known for having been on Second City TV, portraying the character Marcello in Cooking with Marcello, and appearing on the sixth season of Saturday Night Live. Rosado was also in various movies from 1978 through 1989, which include Nothing Personal, Hogwild, and Nightstick. From movies in the 80s, Tony spent most of his time in the 90s in TV. He voiced characters on the shows Pelswick, Robocop the series, and most notably, Luigi from The Adventures of Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World. For me personally, I am most familiar with him as having been Dario Rosso and Nemesis from Resident Evil 3. Yes, the same person that voiced Luigi was also Nemesis, the monster chasing Jill Valentine in Raccoon City. When I found this out, it completely blew my mind. In the early 2000s, Rosado's career seemed to calm down, and eventually he got married in 2003 to Leah Murray. Unfortunately, less than two years after being married, Rosado ran into legal trouble, and he was charged with criminally harassing his wife. Despite marrying her on December 31st of 2003, Apparently, the harassment only started a few days earlier, on December 28th, and it escalated through April 21st of 2005. In May of 2005, he apparently either frantically called the police or went to the police station and filed a missing persons report. I have different sources that say different things, but either way, either way, he contacted the police and they arrested him for harassing his wife. Now, one source states that his wife had left him due to this harassment escalation. Somewhere around this time period, he had been arrested and was suggested to have a brain scan done. And once it was, it showed that there was an abnormality. Later on, he was diagnosed with Capgras delusion, which is a disorder where someone thinks that their loved ones have been replaced with imposters. Though, according to the New York Times article that I read, it stated that he wasn't diagnosed until he was in a psychiatric facility after the whole trial situation. Eventually, though, uh, he was incarcerated for about 800 days or two years while just awaiting his trial alone. Though, from what I read, this mostly seems to be because he denied having a mental illness and refused to plead insanity. There's media scrutiny from this, since he'd been the longest person in jail over a harassment charge in Canada. Eventually, the trial started in 2007, and Rosado was ordered to stay in a psychiatric facility until he was determined fit to leave. According to a quote from his former wife, she stated that he didn't even receive any treatment for a year. In 2009, Tony was able to get out on probation, and with the help of psychiatric medicine, his delusions faded. Once out, he started to get back into entertainment, but this eventually caused the dissolution of his marriage. On January 10th, 2017, Tony Rosado passed away at the age of 62 from a heart attack. He's buried at the Queen Heaven Catholic Cemetery in Ontario, Canada.